select and wear clothes according to seasons for being safe from diseases. We wear different types of clothes according to the climate of the season like in summer season we wear cotton clothes, because it is hot and cotton helps us to absorb more cold. Because during different seasons, the weather will change. Summer is the hottest of the four temperate seasons, falling after spring and before autumn. This season is usually associated with warm or hot weather. Typically, schools and universities have a summer break to take advantage of the warmer weather and longer days. During summer, we normally wear light-colored cotton clothes. We sweat a lot in summers. Cotton is a good absorber of water. Thus, it absorbs sweat from our body and exposes the sweat to the atmosphere, making its evaporation faster. During this evaporation, particles on the surface of the sweat gain energy from our body surface, making the body cool. Further light-colored clothes are poor absorber of heat and would be better for summer. We wear different clothes during different seasons in order to adjust to the changing atmospheric conditions. Clothing is items worn on the body. Clothing is typically made of fabrics or textiles, but over time has included garments made from animal skin or other thin sheets of materials put together. The wearing of clothing is mostly restricted to human beings and is a feature of all human societies. The amount and type of clothing worn depends on gender, body type, social, and geographic considerations. Clothing serves many purposes. It can serve as protection from the elements, rough surfaces, rash-causing plants, insect bites, splinters, thorns and prickles by providing a barrier between the skin and the environment. Clothes can insulate against cold or hot conditions, and they can provide a hygienic barrier, keeping infectious and toxic materials away from the body. Clothing also provides protection from ultraviolet radiation. Wearing clothes is also a social norm, and being deprived of clothing in front of others may be embarrassing. In most parts of the world, not wearing clothes in public so that genitals, breasts or buttocks are visible could be considered indecent exposure. The most obvious function of clothing is to protect the wearer from the elements. In hot weather, clothing provides protection from sunburn or wind damage. In the cold it offers thermal insulation. Shelter can reduce the functional need for clothing. For example, coats, hats, gloves and other outer layers are normally removed when entering a warm place. Similarly, clothing has seasonal and regional aspects, so that thinner materials and fewer layers of clothing are generally worn in warmer regions and seasons than in colder ones. Clothing performs a range of social and cultural functions, such as individual, occupational and gender differentiation, and social status. In many societies, norms about clothing reflect standards of modesty, religion, gender, and social status. Clothing may also function as adornment and an expression of personal taste or style. Clothing has been made from a very wide variety of materials, ranging from leather and furs to woven fabrics to elaborate and exotic natural and synthetic fabrics. Not all body coverings are regarded as clothing. Articles carried rather than worn, worn on a single part of the body and easily removed, worn purely for adornment, or those that serve a function other than protection, are normally considered accessories rather than clothing.